brand new anime for fall 2024. This is called uh, something about the yapping anime, right? Like this guy is like the strongest talker ever. Now, I don't know if this is anime is something that I'm actually like expecting. Like in my head, I'm like, all right, this guy is going to talk his way out of everything through pure charisma and maybe a little bit of bullshittery and luck. He's going to get away. But it's seeming like that anime is let those grieving souls retire. And this anime is it going to be like voice command spells attacks i don't really know but hey let's check out what this anime is about <gasps> critical mass oh my god the demonic realm okay this is where the bad people are from abyss demonic realm there's a rating system as well. Okay, that kind of like makes it kind of hype for like different scales of power, but we're at 12. Beast Lords, higher demon tier monsters. Damn, Grandpa looks like a, such a giga chat, bro. Noel, is that main character here? Maybe, but this Grandpa, god damn. Ooh. What about you, Gramps? Help ain't coming. The maids know. Butler knows. Oh. You're the indomitable evil? That's the thing, though. I don't want it to be the last thing you do. And with this bright flash and behind you, I, I feel like you're 100% gonna die. That weapon is crazy, though. Alright, we're left in like a bomb shelter. This is, we're just like, bro, we're like a minute in and it's just like despair. Demons, abyss rating 12. We're all getting fucked. Humans are getting eaten alive by these demon things. You got like a lore beast. They, they have like insect like wings, huh? Their designs are, I guess, kind of cool, but it's just like, holy shit, we're just like, this is already so just dire. Jicha! It's not an axe or a scythe. Come on, this is a halberd. No, it's... It would be a scythe if it was more curved all the way through, but this looks like it, but it's not. Look at the edge here. Isn't this like a halberd? I don't really know. Maybe a halberd has to have a longer shaft, but it's some sort of a long axe halberd kind of like weapon. I don't know. <laughs> Ji-chan, you dead? Ji-chan. <laughs> Who would have thought that Ji Chen would die? What happened to Indomitable Evil, bro? Seeker? Huh? What are they seeking? Seekers are like demon hunters? I don't know. <laughs> This is how main character gets his motivation to become a seeker. Psycho. <laughs> I mean, I don't really give a fuck because, like, I've known it through for like 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Like, who really cares? I just know emotional attachment that the audience can have with this g champ but still good good night over over death it was fucking indomitable evil but the interesting thing is how so there's like a seeker system seems, seems to be some sort of like monster hunters i don't know whatever adventurer whatever it's gonna be and then he's also a grandpa just conveniently the main character's direct parents like mom and dad are not mentioned so maybe they're around maybe they're like secretly important people but let's keep that in mind <laughs> Brandon. Okay, there's actually a, I, I, I like that they're actually giving these like monsters recognition for us to kind of like care about like how strong they are. So Kokutus the silver, 
Beast from Abyssal Depth of 13, even though our rating was 12. Like, shit like this is always fun. To have like a numeric kind of power scaling system, right? To kind of hype you up. Beast. He was the strongest seeker ever? So like this guy is like the strongest in the universe. At least in this world. And he got defeated by like abyss rating like 13 or something. So like this world is cooked now? There's, there's no more strong seekers like him? Okay. Two year time jump. Time skip. He's a talker. What does that mean? He just talks? He just yaps? Based on the minimal amount of action that's been shown, it's way better than failure frame. <laughs> right? <laughs> my, my new standard. So, like, my standard for, well, like, no, I still have a lot of standards. It's funny how we check out so many seasonal animes and there's so many myth garbage. Newgate comes to mind when talking about like the perfect like 5 out of 10 anime which just like nothing is happening. It's neither terrible nor great. It's just like peak mediocre doo-doo water. And this, the fight scenes as well. Frame, failure frame has reminded me that the overabundance of like CGI, the shitty CGI adaptation and giving you a whiplash of like 3D versus 2D scenes has given me a new taste in like uh, how good animation should be. And so far, it's looking pretty fluid, huh? Okay. Can't use magic. Hmm. The queen just pumps these things out. He's strong as fuck. I wonder why in the opening. These teammates weren't shown. You know? There was like the tanned waifu with the short blade, and there was like a main samurai guy with red hair and the, uh, that was like by his side. I, was, I remember her. <laughs> I wonder if this is like the standard party that's just gonna die right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking they're all gonna just fucking die to give Noah like a lesson. Then he'll meet his like real party mates later on. Because, like, the opening frame, it did not have this girl, you know, side by side with Noelle, so I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, this dude has, like, Ji Chan's weapon. Not the exact one, but it looks just like it, so I'm gonna say rip to this guy. Smart. Huh? We're C rankers. Really? <laughs> I think they're gonna die. <laughs> He's saying it. They're gonna die, bro. Blue beyond. Oh, so they're also doing higher rank quests too while being C rankers, but it's looking like they're just being set up to die at this rate. Oh, he talking. The words are just buffs. <laughs> yeah? We're trash? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, when you're a support class, right, there's only so much you can do. If your carry DPS is just ass, then there's like a cap already on your potential. But if you have the right party, then you're going to do so much better. And, you know, the opening is showing us that. This is not the important party, so get him out of here. Ooh. Is it time? Is it time for them to die? Oh, Tanya's okay. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me, but I'm just like expecting them to die, and her just getting hit like that is like, uh oh, uh oh, it's happening. Yo, talk your way out of this. This is not a lesser fiend, man. Is it the same? He looks like a superior fiend. Come on, bro, talk. There's the gun. What was that? Is he drinking like a potion? He pulled out a gun and like also a vial. Alright, show me the talking. 
Tactician, what does it do? Buffs? 25%, okay. Battle Boys! More buffs? OP? So, not only are his commands like buffs, then he goes on to actually tell these monkeys how to move around. Because, like, if they don't know, if they don't have orders, they don't know how to act. Peer support. <laughs> oh no, it's over! Mental health support! Peer support! Come on! Team morale up! Okay, she's good now. And we're lucky these monsters are idiots that don't understand human speech. Because, like, we're just straight up telling them what to do. If the monsters understood, they'd be like, Huh, you, you're just gonna wait for me to do that? Okay, well, I'm gonna counter that then. This isn't the same as that move in Jujutsu Kaisen. Where, you know, that guy says, like, die, and you literally die. But this is just like a stun howl, right? It's not, it's limited to this stun thing, but you can stun. Paralyze! Paralyze! Poison! Anti-beast weapon. Oh, the soundtrack! Limit break! Assault command. Okay, you can literally tell your friends to just surpass their limits with this. This is OP. Okay. Shut up! Don't jinx it! Ah! You jinxed it. Never mind. Baited. 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 Perfectly. This guy is like really good at like just not only managing his party, but just like awareness. He has like everyone's cooldowns, everyone's buffs, everyone's skills, like how long it's gonna take for shit to happen. It worked perfectly. And I think we're getting baited right now. <laughs> I, I, I think that we're genuinely getting baited right now because like this, like something bad I, I think is still gonna happen to them. And we're getting like it's like that, um, Classical strategy in like a horror show where you're scared that a jump scare is going to happen. And it's like, oh, it's just a cute bunny. And then you get your guard down. And then they get you. I feel like this is those kind of situation. Soundtrack so far has been like... And the battle combat? I'm not going to say it's fucking ufotable animation. But compared to the garbage we've been getting in summer 2024, like, this animation is superb. <laughs> Okay. Ready perfectly. Oh, he yapping still. Hmm. Some kind of bear cast outside the dungeon. And it only goes away after you've cleared it. Baka. <laughs> How do you get assigned a class? That's why his name is Noel. You're just spitting image of your mom. Mom's dead. Alright, dad might still be alive. Okay. I will surpass you. I will become the over over death. So far, I'm not so convinced that he's the weakest class ever. I get it, right? There's like a limit because you're like support utility, but the shit he's doing is pretty OP. Just like buff people 25% for various stats, can just like make motherfuckers just paralyze, stun, just like can like trigger like just 
this berserk like limit break for other people like he's gonna scale way harder with better teammates for sure the gun is interesting too he's not just like talking he has also this anti-beast weapon that's like utility ice bullets and stuff so pretty versatile and like his whole like tactician being like a strategist of ordering people around so okay we got like a great captain like party leader here It's not an isekai. This is native isekai because it's a fucking fantasy setting without the self-insert otherworlder. So isekai map. Interesting. Magi engineering, huh? It's like there is like futuristic equipment like this because of magi engineering. Little rats, little mouse drives carts. Okay. So like the barrier like thing that we like cleared is like the abyss that we have purified. This guy in the newspaper seems important. Let's remember that face. Okay. Kampai. Five million? Amazing. Sure. I have no faith in this party. <sighs> They're definitely trying to make this main character very feminine, right? The whole, like, you look like your late mother, Noel, as a child, super long hair, now he's grown up, but still, you wearing a fucking virgin killer right now, his lashes are super long. I think they're definitely playing into the androgynous, like, femboy main character look. And he has a beauty mark. Bro has longer lashes than the other girl. <laughs> Are you thinking bigger? Okay, I don't, I don't mind if Walter died. You really gonna bring up her fucking dead grandpa right here? Bro, come on, man. That's out of line, man. Okay, Ji-chan. Yes, Ji-chan. Of course. お前が彼に来さないと俺たちブルーンと反省しろはいはい反省何もかも俺が悪いいつも正しいのは強引おいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいお
I guess that's not a lot in this world. Alright, they're setting these two to be like boyfriend and girlfriend, so they'll probably die together. I don't know. He, he's been touchy. Like, just before this, he was like consoling her and this hand touch was okay. They're like pretty close. クリから直接依頼を受けられるクランとして。there you go! Just make your own clan! Ooh, we don't have that much. Oh shit, out of pocket? That's right, we gotta have land. Alright! I'll do it. What's Walter thinking? He's right, you wait for the perfect moment, and by then, like... It's such an in, like I know this is completely out of topic, but this reminds me of a famous line by like Theo Vaughn, who is a comedian who is just a clown, but has one of the deepest talks sometimes about how many people just like procrastinate and make excuses about they won't do something because it's not the perfect time yet. Like it's not time for me to get that job. It's not time for me to start something. It's not time for me to get a girlfriend because I'm preparing for the perfect time. And by the time you think that perfect opportunity appears already, you wasted the most important resource, which was that time. You have such a limited amount of time in life and you burnt that candle thinking that you're going to be ready later on. You're never going to be ready. You just have to throw yourself in and just kind of like manage it. So like, yeah, we should like learn how to do a clan right now. Just fucking do it. They're such doomers, man. True. You got to take the leap of faith sometimes. <laughs> Young and good looking matters to seekers? Are they getting developed for like idle shit? Like in solo leveling as well, the hunters, there's like a magazine and shit, and they whore out Cha in at every opportunity they have. Right? Popularity. So is, is there some sort of like whole industry in this regarding like hyping up seekers? It seems like it. Yeah. They want to hype it up. More seekers join, right? You see celebrity fucking posters. Wow, this S rank seeker. Wow, look at them. And all the kids are, wow, one day I want to be just like them. <laughs> oh, this, this guy was from the newspaper, I think. The middle guy was from the newspaper before. The two on the sides. The one on the left just reminds me of Skimichi Moon and Fantasy Goddess because I can't see her eyes and she's blonde. The guy on the right looks like a Giga Chat fighter. Alright, be hot and popular. Sponsorship money! Hashtag ad! I like how, like, the world building, like, we're immediately thrown into the story of, like, seekers and demons and shit, but I, I do enjoy, like, how they're going out of their way to thoroughly cover, like, the whole system, clans, you know, there's this whole fucking, like, celebrity style shit because capitalism, you want people to join in and, you know, create this whole industry and run the economy. Yes. <laughs> okay. True, Walter's right. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Tanya a bit of a fucking loser, man. Walter was an asshole before, but at least he's down with the plan. All these people are just such doomers. What if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? Holy shit, we're surrounded by a bunch of losers. Hey, he's honest. He's brutally honest about it. Walter just wants the bitches, bro. Walter just wants fame, power, money, pussy. That's all he wants. Sure, Walter, go get it. Hey, he's brutally honest. Wait, what? Wait, what? 
<laughs> wait, wait, Walter, what are you? Will you be mine if I sign with you? Yo, Walter, what the fuck was that at the end? Yo, there's something weird about this party, man. Walter is unhinged. I don't know how to feel about him. He's all over the place. Like, he's such a belligerent fucking barbarian guy that's like sometimes just chill, sometimes just says the most un- just, just like offhand shit and poor fucking budget Reinhard here. Walter keeps it spicy though. I I ain't gonna lie. Walter has been like the source of entertainment this episode. Like, say what you will about it. Like, <laughs> he gets us into some pretty stupid situations. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Aloy's the leader. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna find the other party mates. What was that? The hell? There's like a snake in the water. Is that supposed to be like a uh, symbolism? <laughs> I feel like this is supposed to be Lloyd and Tanya to two birds right over here. And the serpent in the water is Noel right now. I think that's the symbolism. Ooh, aura. Oh, shit! Alright, Lloyd has taken the step forward. What about Tanya? Alright, two days from now. <laughs> Tanya didn't come around. <laughs> Tanya's still, I don't know about this. See? What? What? That was weird. No, something is off here. Something is very off here, bro. Like, ah, this feels like a flag. Something about that good night. Let me guess. Lloyd lied. Tanya lied. I don't know. These two, are they going to show us their true face night now? I don't like that. That's not a that's not a look of confidence, bro. Budget Reinhardt here, Tanya. Walter is just again just a dumb barbarian. He's, he's just funny and just an asshole. But like these two, this loser couple, something bad's gonna happen. I don't know if they're gonna die, but we're gonna get rid of them one way or the other. And like this is like the perfect setup to that. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> they left. They took all the money and left! How could they? <laughs> These fucking losers, bro! Oh, they were so trash from the beginning too, but hey. <coughs> maybe instead of them having like a quote-unquote trash... <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> instead of them... <laughs> <laughs> Instead of them having like a tragic death in a dungeon that we don't really care about, right? Because who cares about these two characters? Now, we can kill them, you know? Like, I hope that, like, Noel shows us his, like, dark side and, like, him and Walter will, like, go chase them down and, like, kill them and take the money back or something. El Tanya. That's today's episode, man. This anime? I'm pretty hooked on the plot. Like... There's some animes where first episode happens and I'm like, I don't care. And this episode was just set up, but like, I I want to know what happens next, you know? Like, I am actually like invested into the story of these two fucking clowns taking our money and leaving. And I want to see what happens, right? It's just like, they immediately threw us into this world of like seekers, demons attacking, like a rating system. And you're supposed to like clear these dungeons and you purify the abyss. And there's this whole like intricate uh, system with seekers of how people want to be popular and young and fame and it's gonna boost the ratings and other kids will then join right they, they put a lot of thought into the world that they live in and it does not feel like flat first episode impressions this has promise i i and in the animation right it, it, let, 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 just like the animation no shitty cgi the animations are moving, right? We're getting actual faces. I'm not going to say this is like the pinnacle of animation, but goddamn, compared to some of the garbage slot that we get fed on a fucking seasonal basis, this is one of the better ones. And I hope that the story is actually compelling beyond... Because like right now, I'm getting baited by like this uh, quote-unquote vengeance plot. I don't know if we're actually going to get vengeance, but we're going to go after the shitty-ass couple that like backstabbed us. But with the shenanigans that Walter has shown and, you know, all the just... I don't know, the stuff that I've talked about... I'm down with this anime. I hope you guys are too. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video. 
check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.